All right, seven of eight in the queue. Gonna do a little vintage cube draft. Gonna take Black Lotus. No, just kidding, there's no Black Lotus in here. Oh, on the topic of how they choose like some retro frames and then some not retro frames. And then we have a true name nemesis in a retro frame, but then literally fast bond, not in a retro frame. Is fast bond available in a non retro frame? Yeah, the original art is available too, is in Master's Edition. Why would they not put that, this OG fast bond in here? Oh, that makes me sad. I'm gonna take fast bond. It feels like the most broken card. I can also take True Name Nemesis. That card's just good. Man. I think True Name Nemesis is great on its own, or Fast Bond is like. No, there's no I don't think there's a fast bond in a in a new frame. I don't think that's a real thing. I'm gonna check though. I, I'm pretty sure Revised was the most recent printing of Fast Bond. No. Actually, maybe. E yeah, Revised was. I mean, if you don't include the 30th anniversary edition, which does have, does have a modern frame. Oh, we could have also taken Entomb. Entomb would have been good. Maybe my rant about Fast Bond was not productive. Oh no, what have I done? Well, I think we're just taking Archon of Cruelty here. That guy's too good to pass. These are probably two of the best creatures in the queue. I'll take an underground sea for sure. That's a spicy little devil. Memory jar, or memory lapse rather, also very, very good. Um, it's a nice little remand uh, adjacent card. Yeah, maybe the real rant about fast bomb is the friends we made along the way. Software elves, thank you for the sub, buddy. You're streaming enough to be watching Rank YouTube. Yeah. I hate when I cannibalize my own content. I should have waited. I wish you told me. You should have emailed me. Can you guys in the chat email me? Or in, if you're watching the YouTube, just email me whenever you're watching the YouTube video. And then I'll know when to go live. Because, you know, no one wants to interrupt their own content with their own content. So, we can take Fire Covenant, which is bananas. Or we can just stick with a talisman, which is really on, on color and that's satisfying. Also, Caracas is pretty good. I think like Fire Covenant and Caracas are both stronger than Talisman, but I think Talisman is the safest pick. I'm gonna take the Talisman. Except I'll just send I'm watching you and that'll be comforting. Yeah, if you could make a burner email account to send it from as well, I'd really appreciate that. Uh, okay, so nothing great here. Cauldre Complete. I, I, I like that Cauldre Complete's back. That's interesting. I'm going to see what they justify, why they justify putting this back in. And Dural is what they took out. Didn't see much play despite the highest density of aggressive legendary creatures the cube has had. So we're bringing back Cauldre, one of the community's most requested cards we cut from last iteration. Yeah, I agree. I think this card's very good. I also think it's like one of the main incentives to find, to, 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 to play like Stoneforge Mystic. Um, and I'm going to take it for that reason. Oh, Watery Grave? Oh, I do like a Watery Grave. Yeah, I'm gonna take, uh, Shallow Grave is interesting too, but it's not like my favorite reanimate card and we don't necessarily have to be reanimating things. I'm just gonna take Watery Grave. Having two on color dual lands is pretty good. I'm also gonna do uh, a video where I go over the recent changes to the cube. I will take a Necromancy. That is one of the better reanimates. Passing Phantasmal Image and Doomsday and maybe Guardian Scale Lord. Oh, what up, Shua? What up, Kadeen? And Cabal, wow, a bunch of, bunch of chatters. 
Just had my first back-to-back O3 and cube. Have never done that before, according to my stat history of 10 years of cubing. I'm really happy for you, man. Congratulations. That's really good. No, that's terrible. I've definitely, I'm pretty sure I've done that. I can't be positive, but I have to assume. Just sent that prime sub over. Didn't get any notification. I did not see it. Kadeen, appreciate you, buddy. Thanks for 31 great months, which is a long time. Now that you got that 003 out of the way, let us never speak of it again. Yeah, I'm pretty sure yesterday yesterday we went oh uh we went one, two, two, one, and then three oh. So that was that's pretty good. That's the equivalent of like breaking even. Right, you spend 300 play points. For the one two you get fifty, for the three oh you get one fifty, and then for the two one you get a hundred. So we made our play points back. So we drafted for free, which is super nice. I like duress better than these. Being able to just rip out a relevant card in their hand or like a central game plan, like a through the breach sneak attack is, is very good. This coveted jewel came back and that's fascinating. Interesting. Also concealing curtains is pretty decent. I don't think Coveted Jewel is a trap anymore. I'm pretty sure every time I've had it, it's been bananas. I'm going to take the Coveted Jewel. Hollowed Fountain is great. That makes the uh, Stoneforge Splash a little easier if we get it. I mean, there's, there's a few cards I would play Coveted Jewel with. Like, I'm not just going to... We're not just going to raw dog a coveted jewel. Is that is that the correct use of that? I don't know. If it is, I don't want it to be. Fair. That's fair. See, I actually feel better about taking Recurring Nightmare because we do have... Um, Bitter Blossom back in the cube, which is nice. I'll take a Mox Opal. I don't know what we're what, what we're doing with it, but we do have Talisman, Jewel, Cauldra. A six and a seven mana artifactor, clearly where you want to be with a Mox Opal, right? Oh boy. Simmons Reclamation, sure. Light and Tutor. All right. So Tutor, Reclamation, and Rampaging. I'm going to put those on the sideboard for now. I don't feel like they're... Uh... Time Twister. Reanimate. Mm, I do like a Reanimate. I do like a Treachery as well, but I think Reanimate's a bit better. And if, Ar if Ashen Rider... <sighs> Ashen Rider will probably come back which would be nice. Yeah, I'm going to take the reanimate here. And that's a one mana card. Yeah, turn eight, turn eight, activate Mox is, is the strategy. That's the, that's the business right there. You guys know that jam? Currency converter is nice. That is a nice one mana gem that lets us, uh, it is in fact Super Mario World. Uh, there's also Orgish Bowmasters. I think I might take Bowmasters over Currency Converter. Bowmasters just wins games. Currency Converter is fantastic. It's a great discard outlet as well, but, you know. You ever cast Bye. a Bowmaster? FM2, thank you for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. We also have a death here that we can cast. Cast the death. Echo of Eons. I 
think we're just going with death here. I think we're leaning into the reanimate. That's our fourth reanimate spell, which is nice. And we, we have a good feeling about Ashen Rider coming back. Scrubland is nice. It it it, le it leaves us open for that white splash. Yeah, I think we're just taking scrubbers. Now we have both shocks and duels for white, black, and blue, black. So here's the thing, man. Genesis Engine is not only very splashable here. It gives us creatures... To, to sacrifice to recurring nightmare and it gives us a discard outlet. This is like build your own recurring nightmare. It's, I, I'm actually shocked <laughs> at how perfect that is. And if Creeping Tar Pit, Deep Cavern Bat or Touch the Spirit Realm come back, it'd be great. But wow, Genesis Engine was perfect there. That's actually super cool. Uh, yeah, I made discard Archon of Cruelty, sacrifice the pilot to bring back Archon of Cruelty, draw two cards. Sounds good. That's, <laughs> Uh, seems good. Look, we can get a batter skull too. And then we're really like, now we can get the white blue talisman. And then our fixing is very good. Hmm. Thank you. I don't think it's batter skull. Grizzly bean. Thank you for the resub buddy. Hope your hope your lifting's going well. Tashana's tide binder. Very interesting. I think I kind of want Batter Skull in case we hit the Stone Forge. I think I can deal with not having a second Talisman. Like, that's totally fine. I mean, I do like all the cards we have so far. Ho, ho, ho. He said right before picking a Fallen Shinobi. True name Nemesis into Fallen Shinobi. That'll do. Yep, definitely taking that guy. That's a bingo. Watson, is that you? Hmm. Watson. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Vendillion click. I like a Vendillion click. Uh, I'm not currently selling any more comics now. I feel like I sold a, a good amount. Uh, yeah, let's take click here. Treachery came back. Yeah, easy pick. That's kind of nuts. I kind of like dress down here. That was actually pretty good against us. I'll take a dress down. I do like a good dress down. Yeah, dress down has been so well, like it was very good against us yesterday. They turned off our hull breacher, and then they blocked it and killed it, and it was a whole. It was a whole thing. It was very good.
Interesting. I guess we're just taking Echo here. Wow, that's a late Gaia's Cradle. All right. Uh, I mean, we're just going to take Despian Stage because maybe we can hit... Oh, Creeping Tarpet came back? Wow. That's fortuitous. See, like, look at this. I like that they put Old Border with Despian Stage. They upgraded this because my philosophy for Vintage Cube is that I have all Old Bordered cards when applicable. Because it's a vintage cube. It's reminiscent of Magic's history. Like, So if there's ever an old bordered version of a card, that's what I play. Which is why I really like the retro frames that, are, that have come out uh, more consistently. So I can update some of like the more modern bordered cards to retro frames. But like, it's funny. Like, It feels like they kind of have the same philosophy where they're like, let's upgrade Thespian Stage. Let's upgrade you know, the Shocklands, Hollow Fountain. But then when it comes to like... Fast bond. Mox Ruby. Boy, that's that's a bummer. He said disappointed that he Oh, also the Ashen Rider didn't come back. That's interesting. Jeez. Well, I guess we're just taking Mox Ruby here. It's still a Mox. I would like Gristlebrand. I don't think Gristlebrand's going to come back. We do have to get some creatures this pack. We have to get six playables. Yeah, I'm, just, I'm still, it's my mocks. I'm not going to pass a mox. Oh, Solitude's a good one. So is fourth Eorlingus. Do we just cast that off of our mox, Ruby? <laughs> oh, that'd be fun. That's a good time. Yeah, I'm just going to take Solitude. Solitude's a, a surprisingly solid gentleman. Man, fourth year lingus though. I'm trying to figure out if audibling to red is viable. Like we have hollowed fountain and scrubland. Oh, I said we had both of these. It's actually godless shrine, not a. It's we don't have godless shrine. We have hollowed fountain. We also have three blue, bl four blue black sources. I think it's just Solitude. I think we have to do the safe pick. That didn't feel great, but it's okay. It's okay. There's the Godless Shrine. I guess it heard us talking about it. Is Solitude the best white card in 10 years? That's a interesting question. I was just slaying so hard. <laughs> yes, queen. Grim Monolith is interesting. It lets us ramp into a lot of things like Batterskull, Coveted Jewel, Treachery, Fallen Shinobi. I think it's I think it's Flesh Gorger here. It's not only a good creature to reanimate, but playing it on three does open you up to Fallen Shinobi. Like going Genesis Engine, discard Phyrexian Flesh Gorger and then reanimating it seems good. <sighs> now we can get Colonnade. I also like Counterspell here. I also like Urtai. We gave the dogs little treats. They're little like rubber receptacles and then you fill it with dog food and they Katie froze it and gave them their little treats and they just like were busy for a long time. I, I kind of like Colonnade here because Solitude is double white. Uh, I mean, I really like Urtai and I like Counterspell, but I think it just leaves us open. Oh, Mana Drain. Holy Jesus. Why are, why are you still in here? What is his fourth pick, Mana Drain? We went Colonnade, Mox Diamond, Solitude, and Flesh Gorger. This is a fifth pick, Mana Drain. Yeah, all right, we'll take Mana Drain, I guess. If Gix or Academy or... Yeah, both Emrakul and Ashen Rider did not come back last pack.
on Earth, not the best. Prismatic ending, not the best. Fatal push, pretty good. Fatal push is good. If we took fourth, we could. Oh, fourth is white red. Also, that was uh, we couldn't actually. I don't know what I was thinking. We couldn't replace the the white mana with a red mana to play fourth. I'm disappointed. No one corrected me there. Uh, yeah, we do need discard outlets. I mean, we have Shorokai Genesis Engine, which is a good one. I do like a thieving skydiver. It's also an enabler for fallen shinobi. Uh, I mean, we could always just manage rain and cast like cauldron. Well, like we also don't have Stoneforge Mystic either, so we're just casting a, a batter skull. I do like a Lauren of the Third Path. Oh, I like Cityscape Leveler. I like Glimmer Lens. Merc Tide doesn't seem great for us. Yeah, we don't actually have many discard outlets. That's unfortunate. With like four reanimate spells. Um, it's not great. Weep, weep, weep. Upheaval. I don't think we're an upheaval deck, unfortunately. Yeah, we can take a daze though, right? Oh, the Godless Shrine came back. That's fascinating. We also have Troll, which we can just discard and reanimate, which I think is fine. Yeah, let's take a Troll. Scrapwork Mutt. That is a discard outlet. I'll take it. Maybe we can unearth it with our, uh, our Mox Ruby. Yeah, I'll take a ley line. And last pick. Okay, we have to cut a lot of things, which is fine. I think we're in kind of a weird position here. Last pick, Embercleave. That's kind of funny. Okay. So that's our mana base. There's also a Reclamation we can play if we wanted to. I do like a Gorgy. I think we can cut those, cut the Jewel. This is 25. This guy's like a one drop. Um, actually, oh, Recurring Nightmare is actually pretty good with Genesis Engine. Genesis Engine also a great discard outlet. A little bit expensive. Beaver Titan. Thank you for the resub, my dude. Really appreciate it, buddy. Leyline is always going to cost three, presumably. I mean, that's pretty good for an Oblivion Ring, right? Lauren's good, true name, Vendillion, Necromancy, Recurring Nightmare. I think we can cut Life Death. Oral, you don't like Beaver Titan? <laughs> uh, like, that gives us a little three. Okay, we have Reanimate, Recurring Nightmare, and Necromancy still. What's Jace Fox? I don't even know what that is. Have you guys seen the new Oko art? Look at that, bro.
Okay, everything else in here seems pretty decent. I think maybe Murktide is the last card I could see cutting. Duress Fatal Push Reanimate Troll. Got it. Days, Dress Down, Skydiver, Mana Drain, Orcish Bowmaster, Scrapper, Clint, Talisman. Yeah, everything else seems good. All right. And we're not playing Thespian Stage. Oh, what up, Alan? Sort by color. Very minimal white. We have one, two, three. I wish we had a fetch land here. Six white, that's eh, probably fine. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Three, four, five, six, seven. Our mana base is actually worse than I thought it was. This is eight, eight. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three. Four, five, six, yeah. Six, eight, eight plus having um, talisman. Yeah, that seems fine. All right. Well, we did not end up getting Stoneforge for two of the best Stoneforge targets. We did not end up getting many discard outlets. I think the only discard outlet we really passed that we cared about was uh, currency converter. What did we take over currency converter? Let me see if I can remember. Hmm. Oh, was it Bowmasters? I think it was I think it was Bowmasters. And I think that's I think I stick by that. Oh, uh, yeah, this seems fine. Got double white for Solitude. Man, it's funny because I thought my mana was great. Like, we just kept hitting, uh, we just kept hitting dual lands. So, you know. Oh, yeah, that's actually great. So we can play this tapped, keep up days, and it just lines up really well with Bowmasters next turn. Great success. <sighs> Seething song. Yep, you got it. <laughs> that's a two for one all right well this keeps up leyline binding and then next turn we can play genesis engine <sighs> it's gotta feel rough right lelia I usually like to play Genesis Engine on a turn where I can also activate it, but I think we have so many things to do. And plus, that worked out quite well. Um, so this is interesting. Let's duress you. Crap. 
tracking that guy. You got it. Oh, interesting. Uh, Flash, Time Spiral, Karn, and Astral Dragon. Why don't they try to play the Karn? They also didn't flash in Astral Dragon in response? What? That's very weird. I'm on a little win streak. Congrats, babe. <laughs> Real proud of you. Now we can keep that down. Play Orcish. Have Orcish Bowmasters up in case they time spiral. Also, just getting in there with this and Fallen Shinobiing seems good. And Karn starts at five. That's so many. <laughs> well, I'm not going to give you Narset when you have Time Spiral in hand. Uh, I'm just gonna, we're just gonna play Bowmasters here. Alright, I was kind of hoping for a land. So what do they have in hand? They got the they got the Narset, or they got the they got the they got Chandra Time Spiral Astral Dragon. They're missing lands though. They could play Chandra and kill Fallen Shinobi, which is not great. What's their other plan? Just like get Narset and activate it? I don't think I don't think I care about that that much. I think we're gonna attack your face. Attack Karn, attack Karn. I think I just want my shinobis. My shinobeats. Probe. <laughs> well, we get to play a free land. And we get to probe you. Hmm. Yeah, just play the land, I guess. Yeah, just pass here. I'm sure they're going to play Chandra and kill Fallen Shinobi. I don't know if that was correct. But I also don't know. Okay. Um, I'm kind of just going to give you Ugin here. <laughs> like, yeah. Time Spiral, Dragon, Chandra. Time Spiral, Dra Where did this Talisman of Creativity come from? Oh, we could taxi and probe them. Got it. I am a smart boy. Okay, great. <laughs> That'll do, pig. That'll do. I am a smart smart. Okay, yeah, I think we're just fine like this. Kind of fine with Duress and the Bowmaster here. Hmm. That's good. 
That is a, a good card. So is that guy. Tinker. No blue sources. Blight steel in hand. I kind of want to take the Narset here, but it's double blue. This is fascinating. What do they tinker for? Do we just risk it? Probably. I mean, if they get blue, they tinker, right? They have to get double blue for Narset. I don't think we arc care about Arc Trail. But here's the thing. Like, if they don't have another creature in their deck, then the Blight Steel is just... Use, like, then the tinker is just useless, right? They have to have something else. Is it worth getting rid of Soaring? Like, we can just lure in whatever they get if we hit a white source? I don't know. I'm going to get rid of Narset. I feel like it's the better card. <laughs> I don't know if that's correct. That might feel... That might be terrible. They just didn't hit a land? Oh, well, good for us. Well, we know they have Arc Trail. Oh, Rogren Triome, huh? Come on, White Source. Oh, that's not a White Source. I, I I tapped in such a way that I could keep up. I could I could um. I could bluff like manager or counter spell, even though it does cost us a man, like a a life to play bowmasters. Okay, they are gonna tinker here. Okay. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, all right. We didn't see that guy. We didn't see tinker. We get punished. That's fair. I get it. Hmm. Yeah. That is a bummer. <sighs> I'm not sure I'll be able to cast this in time. That is my theory. Eh. We took a risk. Did not pay off. Yeah, I also assumed if it was something like Portal or uh, Bolas' Citadel, like we would have Lauren to deal with it eventually. Yeah, all right. We would have gotten one more draw if it's a treachery. Oh, we're just never going to see it, I guess. Okay. I mean, it, we actually don't get one more draw. They attack us for nine again and put us to two, and then they have, we know they have Arc Trail in hand, so. Yeah. That was our own fault. I, I accept it, though. That's fine. Uh, I like this hand a lot. Let's go get... Great question, actually. All right, Probe, Karn, Chandra. Two four drops, a forest, and a storm carved coast. I'm just taking the probe, to be honest. What a weird hand. Oh, that's pretty good. Um,.
I think we're just getting Watery Grave here and playing that. We want a second blue for Vendillion Click. All right, coast gone. Forest gone. I think we're just running out Gorger here. And then next turn we can vent, we can click them on their draw step to see what what we can hit. Oh, second blue. All right. This guy. Mm. Wow, Goldsman Dragon. And they drew a Fiery Islet so they can cast anything. Oh boy, their hand got a lot better. Like Chandra just kills our things. They go land Urza next turn they can tinker. I think it's actually Chandra. I mean, Chandra kills. Well, Karn also unlocks, don't forget, like they just make a guy. But I guess like like if, if they play Urza, like we just steal their their token. Which I think is fine. I think I'm more worried about I think I'm I might be worried about Tinker. Like if they want to play Chandra and kill one of these two, that's totally fine. Yeah, I'm taking the Tinker. I think I've learned my lesson. So we have Yeah, we're gonna start with Islet, Goldspan, Karn, Chandra, Urza. So Islet's gone. Yeah, Alan, it's funny. You're like, take the Urza because it unlocks their Tinker, but we could just take the Tinker. There is an Urza. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're just hoping to, to race them here, right? So we know they have Goldspan, Karn, Chandra. Goldspan's not a huge deal. Okay, that's good. Probably gonna play Gold. Oh, play Chandra. Probably kill Vendillion Click. Still a ton of damage. Oh, all right, all right that's great. Because now they have to take three. So they're at seven and we have five in the air. Yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, come on. Really? <laughs> That's... Oh, boy. Attack you. Attack Chandra. No reason to give you extra Planeswalker turns. Like, we could have put them to two and then we'd have lethal here, but we don't... Like, they're going to get an extra card off of Chandra. Yeah, this is just going to be Goldspan. I don't think they're going to attack here, though. I feel like that would be a little risky. Oh, where were you? Ugh, man. 
Yeah. I mean, that's still pretty... Yeah, it's still fine. Ideally, we just draw something like an Archon of Cruelty. Because <laughs> we can actually cast it here. I mean, if they play Karn, we're just going to counter it. There's no reason to... All right, something good. That's not the worst, I guess. One, two. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, does that lethal? Like they go block here, block here. No, they take two and then they get to kill Vendillion click. That's hilarious. How many lands is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, two extra lands is something. Block here, block here. They take two. No, how? No, it's not lethal. They have two blockers. They go they go block two two, block three one, they take two. This guy doesn't have haste. If this guy had haste, it'd be great. Yep, yeah, that is a bummer. Oh yeah, if they have nothing next turn, for sure. I, I find that like they have three cards though. God, hitting a daze off of off of Urza is pretty big game for us. Man, that was Oh, that's it then, right? Oh, that's it then, right? Okay. We're just going to play this for safety. Got him. <laughs> we'll say good games. I don't like saying good games unless they say good games, because then I don't want to feel like a dick, so. I don't know. Maybe that's overthinking it, but I know, like, sometimes if I get crushed and someone's like, good game, I'm just like, but it was not a good game. It was a bad game. But I also might be saltier than your average player, so. This is definitely a keepable hand. Yeah, it's just I err on the side of that because I don't know how, I don't know the mood people are in when they lose, like, so. But if they say it, like, I'll say it back. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. If someone calls me a Luxac noob, I'm just like, no, you. What do you got here, champ? Swords, reprieve. Oh, broadside bombardiers. That's pretty good. And recruiter, huh? I think reprieve is more obnoxious than swords. I almost want to play Hollowed Fountain here because it it puts our Leyline binding online quicker. No, I think it's still just better to play this. I can't imagine we're going to need it in like the next turn. He said confidently. Oh, what up, Mr. Squirt? These mismatched lands, too. All right. Ooh. 
Yeah, Mother of Runes is kind of a dick face. Oh, Dress Down is an interesting. So if we go end of turn Dress Down, at the beginning of the end step, you sacrifice it. So that would last till the next turn and we can Hollowed Fountain like Mother of Runes. That seems pretty good. Also, if they play Recruiter here, we can easily just like play Dress Down in response. Oh, that seems really cool. Wow, man, Dress Down is kind of wild. Oh my God, am I gonna add Dress Down to my cube? Cause it's really sweet. Oh man. Oh, but then we don't get to, then we don't get to kill the mother. I'd kind of rather them not get another guy. Like, they only have swords in one of their card in hand, so. Maybe we get to draw a card from this. Man, what a deal. Oh, troll is. Troll and recurring nightmare is interesting. It's a nice 1 1. It's a nice 1 1 you've got there. Oh, that's a gentleman, isn't it? One, two, three. Swords to plowshares, eh? I mean, this guy still has menace, unfortunately, but. You know, true name ain't no slouch. But being able to just toss this guy at us for five damage is kind of nuts, right? I, I mean, I'm sure that's what they're doing. Yeah, that's ridiculous. That's so ridiculous. <laughs> this card's really good. Mm, double moxes, huh? Well, this is hard to deal with. Tossing guys getting by. Is that a saying? Is that what people say? Yeah, this is a bummer. I mean, we could use it on wedding announcement here. But I do feel like we're we're not doing great against Thank you. this one this one bomber bombardier backed up by Mother of Runes is actually wrecking us. Oh, what up, Chorwit? Thank you for the resub, buddy. Appreciate you. Wouldn't want to beshiate you. Hold on one second. Larry Hama, like the creator of G.I. Joe, just said, like, the winner of the costume content contest at the G.I. Joe convention in Loveland. And he posted a picture of that person. And I'm like, there's a G.I. Joe convention in Loveland? What in the earth, man? How did I not know this? That's like 20 minutes away. Oh, was it 2016? Maybe this was like seven years ago.
Hmm. I wish I had one more land here, because then I could actually activate Creeping Tar Pit, go to double block, and they would probably give it pro blue, and in response I could Leyline Binding. But Leyline Binding costs three, not two. Uh... Correct, I did. I'm sorry I didn't I didn't I didn't uh I didn't respond to you. Oh my god, I don't know what to, I'm I mean this makes them use it though, right? So whatever, man, we'll do it. Oh, they could swords this, I guess. Yeah, they're probably just gonna swords our tar pit. Wow, that's... I guess they just used the own ability. <laughs> uh... Yeah, this card is nuts. That's why it's like 40 tickets on Magic Online right now. So we got blue, 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 black. We need a second black, so I'll just get underground C, which is fine. Man, my kingdom for a toxic deluge. Mox Ruby. You don't really do anything, I'll be honest with you. Yeah, I think that's probably it. Yeah, it doesn't feel great. Yeah, we're just going to go to the next game. I really feel <laughs> another land. Man, man oh man. Like I just I can't, we we lost to a 3 mana 2/2 two, two red creature. Like I don't know. I don't know, man. What can you do? All right, well, any day now. Any, any day now. Yeah, all right. Would have loved like a Bitter Blossom or an Ophiomancer for this recurring nightmare. I feel like our deck is like a bunch of good cards that don't really have a ton of uh, cards that make them work. Nerd Gummy Clusters? That just sounds like an actual uh, sugar bomb. What's different for this cube? They made like 35 changes. I was going to put up a video about it. I like going over the changes. Oh, I have I have had them. That's why I know they're actually just... It's literally just a sugar explosion in your mouth. They're kind of... I, I don't know. They don't really do anything for me personally. Um...
You should put up a video detailing the changes in the in the queue I mailed. <laughs> well said. Well stated, my friend. Well stated. Is it citric acid or malic acid? I feel like it's malic acid. What do you think? Am I correct? I don't know. I'm not sure. Yeah, check it out. I thought I've, because I think I've looked up that before and I was like, oh, it's not citric acid. For... It's both! <laughs> Cook a combo X is currently dose. Give me this thing. And now we have a sweet fallen shinobi enabler. I will not be blocking. Uh, they cannot re-equip it because I control it. I gained control of it. Look at me. I am the lens now. Hope you don't have a swords to plowshares, my good man. What are the odds you do? 400%. Yep, there it is. Never fails. <laughs> it's, it's never failed in once in the history of magic. Yep. Never. Yes, never, never a thing. Yeah. Uh, you thought you would be able to interact with me. Um, you were mistaken, you see. <laughs> what a fool you were. Yep, that's a good one. I guess we have Solitude for Adeline, which is pretty good. Hmm. One? Two? Okay. Well, I'm just going to cast this. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Man, if we had a troll in the graveyard, I would have been able to sack this guy, get the troll back, and then, you know, do it again next turn. Do it again. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, never mind. I was clearly made a terrible mistake. We have seven mana. We're very close to Archon of Cruelty mana. Honestly, I feel like Phyrexian and Flesh Gorger might be decent here. They've, they've already used Swords and Path. So, you know. Look at that. You got that guy. Oh, yeah. Look at that. A classic. Look at that gem. This is my favorite guy. Oh, 
Oh, of course, of course, there's Mother of Runes. Why wouldn't you have a perfect one mana play? <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, we can get rid of Mom, which I think we might have to do. Get out of here, Mom. And then I think we just play Skydiver as a man. Play him as a man. Like just being able to fling this at us for five damage is kind of ridiculous. <sighs> There's no reason to equip that. We're either blocking or getting our guy killed. If we hit a land, I think Archon might be able to, to put us back in this, but I, I don't know. Like, we take five from the... No, we take seven from the Bombardier this turn, so we go to four. Block here, we take six. No, we go to two. Yeah, that's pretty good. And then they just do it again next turn. Yeah, this card is bananas. B-A-N-A... N-A-S. They could also just sack the guy we block as well. And then next turn that sets him up for sacking this guy. Hmm. Oh, they didn't sack anybody. Oh, they still can after combat. So yeah, that makes... Yep, we just go to one here. That's fantastic. Why is it in this order? Come on. Like, this turn I would have been able to attack with this guy for seven. Yeah, what a mess. What a hot mess. Oh, you want the... We'll give you the eight mana guy and then the seven mana guy. You can actually pay for three mana. Also, Pompadour just sacking, like... If you, you can sack a token and it still deals two because the, the ability deals two plus. So like you can literally just take care of any of my blockers before I even go to blocks. You just turn that guy sideways, sacrifice anything, kill a blocker. It, it's, a card's bananas. Did I add that card? I definitely had to have, had to have added that card. Yeah, he's in there. Yep. Yep. Oh boy. Yeah, that card is currently 36 tickets on Magic Online. It's a pricey little guy. When he came out back in like December, up until like December, early December, he was only like seven tickets. So if you guys picked up a bunch of those. You'd be in good shape right now. It's like stocks, you know? Stonks is right. All right. Round three. <laughs> Diamond hands to the moon. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, I like it. It's a turn to turn to troll. Trolly McTrollerson, you know. Yeah, turn two troll into turn three flesh gorger seems like a, a good amount of pressure. Under pressure. Uh, hmm. Flip this guy. 
turn you into a scrubberino. And daze that guy, bounce this guy. We could have actually just floated the mana and then used it once we knew Days resolved in case they also had a... Days. So keep that in mind. That is how you should correctly sequence what I just did. Do as I say, don't do as I do. I can see the plays, but my ADHD brain doesn't let me uh, make them slow enough. Oh, we just win the game. Okay. Everybody played hard. What do we see? One third path iconoclast? Great. All right. I'll take two one if we can if we can muster it. Oh yes. Give me a big fat idiot. You know, it's a cast off of mana drain. That is a Mox Rupert. I'm going to keep Mana Drain up. I don't care about that. <laughs> That's great for us. Let's see what you got here. High Tide, Cryptic Command, and Mox Opal? I don't think I care about any of those things, to be honest. Like maybe high tide? Not really. Like, without high tide, it's going to be really hard for them to cryptic command our mana drain. I'll get rid of the high tide. Sure, sure. You just attack for six here. What do they do? They have no high tide. Was it island, island, opal, cryptic? It's two islands? It has to be, right? Because we got rid of high tide. Yeah, that's just not very exciting. I feel like we... Ah, to take down mana drain, though. I'm going to do it. We're going to close this bitch out. Island gone. Nothing happened. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh, I like that guy. I think I like it better next turn, though, and we can still keep up the drain. Uh, one, two, three, activate. No. Also, if they cast something big... Um, and we manage rain. We could Genesis Engine and also, like, activate it. So, one, two, three, four, or four. Um, they have Cryptic Command. Which I don't love. If they try to like tap and bounce or something, it's just not fun. I'm fine with doing this and then next turn getting the mana. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow, that's good. Oh, wow. <sighs> You're welcome. Yep.
God would never let me be successful. He'll kill me first. And we'll get a land. Oh, an Archon of Cruelty with a bunch of mana. I don't hate it as much as I could hate it. It's actually not terrible. He said. Uh, so, black, black. Hmm, boy. All right, well, they have one card. Oh, no, wait, they have Genesis Engine. I forgot how good that card is. Wow, that's really disgusting. Can I reanimate their deck? I mean, theoretically, we could have attacked Face, got put them to five, and then Creeping Tar Pit and Vendillion click them next turn, but... They have access to so many cards. They see two off deck, four off Genesis Engine over the two turns, and then their draw for the turn. Like, they see seven cards. So, like, their odds of being able to answer a 3-1 and a 3-2 is pretty high. So, doesn't feel like the uh, most reliable strategy. I mean, I could also see getting rid of Cryptic Command in the beginning, because their high tide doesn't really mean as much if we can counter, like, the big thing they're doing. And then we wouldn't have had to Mana Drain their Cryptic Command. We could have kept up Mana Drain for the deck Faden. Like, that would have changed the course of the game. So, I mean, little stuff like that makes a difference. Really, you're getting in there. I might as well attack first, right? Like, if they have Cryptic, they can go counter bounce or counter tap. Like, not Cryptic, but like Snapcaster into Cryptic is what I'm thinking. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, never resolving. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Oh, amazing. It's just, just incredible. Well, I mean, they are dead on board. Dobbs, as we call it. Yep, add your, your sweet eight mana. Eight mana for me, a Shirokai Genesis engine for me. It's almost as if they couldn't win without my deck, you know? Oh, look, uh, Bobble. Oh, that's interesting. Hmm. Well. Yeah, I think not taking Cryptic Command there was probably the big mistake that we've made. Activating, sure. It's okay, they only have five cards in hand. What could go wrong? I see. Uh, discard my hand. It includes an Echo of Eons. Time Spiral. Metamorph. Copying. <laughs> Coveted Jewel. <laughs> well, they're doing they're doing some things. <sighs> Lord. It's frustrating when you can see the exact moment that you know you made a mess up. You made a boo-boo. Taking them off cryptic command would have been huge. If they can't win here, I would I would be utterly shocked.
They're going to make that another jewel. Sure. I got a million mana. They can just fireball me? <laughs> upheaval? If this is an upheaval, I'm going to just... We're just going to pack it up. <laughs> 23 mana upheaval. Come on. Yeah, I guess I just didn't predict them drawing a deck in like the two turns that they needed to draw a deck. What is going on here? I don't know why you'd play Golos first because it removes five mana. And then you just have another land to discard. So if it's upheaval, I don't get it. Time spiral. <laughs> yep. You got it. That does make more sense. They're probably like, I'll never need more than 13 mana. <laughs> well, where's the Bowmaster when you need it? <laughs> Their deck does seem pretty poorly positioned against one Bowmaster, so let's keep that let's keep that in mind, I guess. What are they doing? What are they doing? What is happening? This is like... You don't want to scoop, you know? You don't know what they got. Sure. They already used El uh, Sahili's copy ability. Like, I have to assume they have some sort of time walk, right? Or... I mean, brain freeze is brain freeze. I'm expecting it, but I want to see it. They only have four cards left. Astral Dragon, you got it. What do you what do you make copies of? Sahili's? No. Spell bomb. Sure. This is so many things right now. They're done? What? That was what they did, huh? <laughs> so, one, two, th three. Let's see what they got for this guy. You think they got their cryptic command in hand? No? Attack your face. They do have either spell bombs on board. Smart. <laughs> yes. Yes. That that is a that is an that is what's known as an onboard trick. Huh. Comical. Blue mana. Oh, we played a planes. Yeah, we're definitely going to cycle. I guess we're just going to try to not lose this turn, right? How are we going to do that? No idea. Do you think they just go to combat and turn all these guys sideways? Yeah, let's go to the next game. Okie dokie. <laughs> that was... I had a good time. Yeah, we were definitely trying to count on Bowmasters to do some work there, but it was a little too late. Remember when I was like, let me just attack with this creeping tar pit. What could they possibly do? Uh, this seems like a keeper. Lauren of the Third Path seems good. 
we just have to hit a little land here, you know? Mox would be fantastic. Or a blue source. Either one, you know? Yeah, I blame you, Tom Bomb Man. That's nah, not a blue source, is it? That means we can't cast any of our spells. Yay! Eight blue sources is not enough. That's sad. That's that's happy. Underground Rivy. Keep up that drain train, and if they don't do anything, we'll Vendillion click them. Sure. I will draw it again. <laughs> you got it. And pass. Oh, that resolves. Let me take a good look. Upheaval, Coveted Jewel, High Tide, and Battle Sphere. Again, I think we're taking High Tide this time. Now if they play either of these, we can drain it. But they really just don't have anything to do here. I wonder if we just fall in Shinobi? No, that seems bad. We have to take High Tide. It turns these into just six mana cards. That's interesting. I mean, they get to go land upheaval, which is not super exciting. Because they don't actually get to play land again, and then we do get to play land. But then they might just not do anything, and I guess at that point we Bowmaster. Yeah, I don't even think I'm going to fall in Shinobi here. You got it. <sighs> it's like one of their, their two draws. <laughs> it was a mana drain. I mean, I would definitely be tempted to upheaval here, floating two if they had something, and then playing a land for the turn. Now it's my turn. Fascinating. Well, unfortunately, I cannot go to, to my... It's unfortunate because I can't use any of this mana. 
And if we hit lands off their deck, like they're just going to get them back when they upheaval. Like now they get to go upheaval, float one, play a land, play something for two if they have it. Like we're actually kind of in a, it's, we're in this really awkward position where like this one upheaval is actually going to do some work. One thing we can do is if they upheaval, we can leyline binding our Vendillion click. I, I, I hate not being able to just Shinobi here. It's really obnoxious. Also, if we hit one more land, it would be amazing because then we'd have three lands. We can use two of them and three of this. Oh, it is an opponent controls. Good call. That's a weird distinction, but yeah, I guess that doesn't matter then. Um, I just waste the mana, I guess. That kind of sucks, but it also just sucks putting the shields down. Like once once we they upheaval, like we know they know like we can't do anything. Yeah, that was terrible. I think we're just passing. Like, I honestly think, like, it's just not worth playing Shinobi here. Every time they play a land, it's like, well, that doesn't... Five mana now, okay, well... Upheaval and Coveted Jewel. You got it. Interesting. Should we have played this a while ago? Maybe. Two, three. I mean, there are five. They have to do something now. Like they tap for eight, they float two, they upheaval, they play a land, they have three mana. And I don't actually think they have. Yeah, and that seems like the plan. But like we get to respond by floating mana for Vendelian Click and replaying it, so. Oh, uh, I don't think they added the card's called a reenact the crime, I think, and I don't think they added it, which is sad. It's a really cool card. I feel like this match is taking forever. <laughs> Coveted jewel with two floating. Okay. So I have five mana, not six. Mox Opal. Great. I see it. I see you, Mox Opal. <laughs> wow. Uh, 
How fortuitous. What an amazing hand that you just sculpted from one card. Beautiful. I hit Talarian, Mox Obel, and Frantic Search. <laughs> like, we need two of the three cards in their hand. Oh, man. So if we Leyline Binding here to get rid of Coveted Jewel in response, they still get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven when they untap. And they did play a land this turn. So they get to go like upheaval float one. It doesn't seem that good. Right? They go one, two, three, four, five, and then this will untap making one. One, two, three, four. They actually can't use this right now. So they only have three. Four, five, six, seven. Yeah, seven, right? Okay. Yeah, this feels correct. And they're going to tap it in response, but like it only gives them six mana. They have access to six mana. Seven mana, right? Yeah. So, like, if they don't hit anything, like, I don't know. The alternative is they go crazy with mana. Like. They just took damage. I'm not actually sure what that is. They took two, and then they untook two. Phyrexian Metamorph? Seems like it probably is Metamorph. So another hand is like Metamorph Upheaval. Yes, we could have floated. I'm just afraid of what they're going to do. Like, I don't think they're just going to go upheaval. I think they're going to do a bunch of other stuff. The problem is now, like, I don't know if they, they think about it, but like if, um, Oh, that's actually pretty good for us. Interesting. So they only have one, two, three, 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 three mana right now. One, two, three, no, four mana. If they upheavaled, they would have bounced Leyline Binding and got their Coveted Jewel back. And I'm not sure if they knew that. Cube is hard, man. Oh, wow. We just win that game? What? <laughs> That I was not expecting. Wow, what return to the game? So I guess they figure if they take if they take treachery, we still have Lauren to kill this. If they take solitude, like like we have two things. If they take Lauren, we still have treachery for this. So they kind of have to take treachery. That's insane. Like if they they should have upheavaled. I actually overlooked it at the time. But it's very subtle. If they added seven mana to upheaval, they would have gotten their, their coveted jewel back. And then we knew they had Metamorph in hand, so they could have actually played Metamorph for three off the coveted jewel to make another coveted jewel. And even if they just pass there, they still have Academy Jewel Jewel, and that's like eight mana right there. So, uh, yeah, kind of like, kind of really surprised at how that game went. Playing Leyline Binding was actually fairly risky. If they saw that line... Um, it was a bloodbath, but we knew they had up. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons Two one. I will take it. I'll see you next time.